Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode I'd like to show you a new app that uh, just uh, was added to the Microsoft 365 and it's ClickChamp. So ClickChamp is a Microsoft uh, tool that you can record videos and edit them uh, and I want to show you how you can do it. So First of all, there's two ways you can do it. First of all, you can go to the nine dots and you can search for the ClickChamp app. Now, if you don't see it, as you saw, I went to all apps and in the search bar, I just looked for ClickChamp. You see, I ran it and now actually I can run it. Until now, um, ClickChamp was only for uh, users that don't have a corporate uh, 365 account and now it's it's rolling out also for the business. So here you see actually I can uh, create a new one. I can see uh, the recent ones and if I click on uh, blank video it will open up the ClipChamp app on the web and actually I can do all of the recording and other things. Now. The other way we can do it is actually if I go to the SharePoint, I go to a SharePoint app and I will look for a team site and I will go to a document library. And one of the options when I click on new will be actually a new document type, which is a clip champ video. Now, if you don't see it, either it has not rolled out, you can edit the menu here to see if it's not marked. So here I'm marking it and you see it should appear. <clears throat> now if I click this, I will be referred to the ClipChamp app in this 365. And now let's see actually what is possible. So uh, on the left, we have my media and here I can import the, the videos or music or whatever I want. So as you can see here, I can browse a file. I can go from my OneDrive uh, and upload a video or media. So in this case, you see, I can just import. I'll click here and I will upload some uh, uh, music. If I click on it, now the music uh, will appear here. In addition, I can add a video. So I was search for a video. Let's go to, to my downloads. And this is a video I recorded. Uh, and I could add it. Now, in addition, uh, so here you will see I have both the video and the music. I can drag it. Now, let's say I don't have a video ready. Uh, what I can do is actually let me delete this and what I can go, I can go to the record and create. Here I have two options, screen and camera and webcam. So in this case, let's just uh, click webcam and I can start it. And now I can uh, record what I want. It's asking me permissions. Now it's using my uh, webcam and I can record uh, some things. So you see here, I will click on this and now I will talk and now you will see what I'm talking about. I can uh, review it, I can draw, I can change the background and do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and actually now I can review it and now now I can save it and now I could actually, it's added to this uh, place. Now there's all kinds of tricks and you can um, split between the videos. If I mark this, I should have a possibility to split with the scissors. So now the video is, and I can cut. Um, now on the, on the left, I can have some text added. You see, I can add it here and uh, I can add some text and then uh, I can 
change all kinds of things here on the right regarding the text. So if I mark this text, I can change the font and the alignment and the background and all kinds of things. I can change, do a, an effect and made a fade. There's lots of things uh, you probably uh, can uh, know this from using the ClipJump uh, app. What else? We have some graphics so we can change the background. So you see you can have a background which is uh, black, white and solid and I can also change the transitions and, and do all kinds of things. Once we have changed everything, by the way, for for the for this uh, background music, I can change the the volume and do lots of uh, cool stuff. Now I I later will compare this to the uh, ClipChamp uh, app on the Windows and on the web. It's a bit different, but this is a great uh, start. So I can review it. And I can do lots of things. Here I have an option to share or copy the link or manage access. What I will do is actually I will click on export. So he, they, I have some uh, issue here, but it's not really relevant. Continue anyway. Now I can choose the quality. If I want 480p, or I want the highest one, which is high uh, quality 1080. Uh, I can change the name, so let's call this uh, my first video. And I can save it to the cloud. <coughs> By default, usually it's um, OneDrive. Uh, but uh, what I can do is, as you see here, I can choose the location that I want it to be stored. <coughs> So uh, let's wait a second. Uh, okay, so my files actually brings it to to my OneDrive. You see, there's a special uh, folder for videos. Um, in this case, I want to save it in the document library where I had it. Uh, it seems like it also created a special folder. And actually, I will. Uh, say I want to store it here. So I selected the location and when I do this it will export it to the document library. As you saw it's possible also to store it in your OneDrive and you can do additional things. Below notice I can publish uh, it with Microsoft Stream. I can copy the link I can save it to my computer and I can do lots of things. So uh, now it's uploading it to the SharePoint document library. As you see, I can uh, do this. So currently, uh, if I go now to the document library and I refresh, I see that my first video is here. I can play it. And uh, let's see the experience. It opens it in stream app and now if you noticed uh, what I noticed is it even offers you to record a new video here uh, I'm not that interested here I can do set all of the settings a new thing is the audio files um, but this is more or less uh, what it is uh, as I said we can open it for now App launcher. Now, uh, just to compare uh, this um, ClipChamp that is now in Microsoft 365, you saw that actually uh, the text uh, examples are there's only one possibility. Uh, the graphics is very basic, and the transitions is, is more. This is much better. If I show you this compared to the clip chant that I have in the windows, you will see that there's some uh, uh, more rich uh, experience. Maybe in future it will be. So you see actually here in the recording, instead of two, I have screen and camera, camera screen, and text to speech. Here I have templates for YouTube, Instagram, because this is meant, I guess, for 
uh, things that are not only for the 365. In the music, I have lots of um, clips. Some are free, some are paid. Uh, I have a video library. I have an image library. I have in the text, look how many I have. So hopefully it will also uh, come to the Microsoft 365. Uh, graphics, you see here I have all kinds of animation, shapes. Um, maybe it's only because uh, it's rolling out. Hopefully it will come. And uh, there's some branding kits and all kinds of things. So this is actually uh, what you get in the non-business uh, solution. Um, but this is the desktop. And this is actually the 365. It's a great start, and actually, um, you should wait and see um, that it rolls out to test it, and hopefully, you will uh, benefit from it because it's a free tool. You don't need to pay uh, expensive tools, and actually, I can tell you most of my videos I edit on Clipchamp, uh, the one on uh, Windows 11. But this is uh, free and you should try it out. So if you like my video, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.